Hi friends. So today we're going to continue to work with shapes. Um, today we're going to talk about equal shares. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course, we're going to start with our solvent share. Make sure that you've already solved this on your own before watching the solution. So this is asking me how many equal squares cover this rectangle? How could you show with an equation? Okay, so you guys see all these squares? Basically, you have to add it up. Well, I know that there's one, two, three, four rows, okay? And in each row, there is one, two, three, four, five. Interesting. That might give you a hint. Maybe not. So what I could do is I can add five four times. So that could be my equation. Let's see. So add five, how many times? Four, because there's four rows and there's five in each column. So five plus five plus five plus five. Well, Ms. Ortiz, why didn't you just do um, uh, four, add four, five times? Well, you could have done that too. Would you still get the same answer? Yes, because there are four squares in each column, which there are five columns. So um, five plus five plus five plus five is 20. Now for my mathematicians out there, you guys might have thought, oh, psh, multiplications, there's four rows and there's five columns, so four times five equals 20. Now let's see if we're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. Yes, it is 20 equal squares. So I also could have done four plus four plus four plus four plus four because there's five columns and there's four squares in each column. So we're gonna be working with this today. So let's go ahead and move on to our visual learning. So we need to lay it out like this and not like this so we can make it equal, right? If we do it like this, we're not going to fit in all the squares we can, right? The goal is to equally fit each square into this rectangle. Here, you must be So let's try it. Okay, so we need to not do this. This is what they don't want you to do. Don't do this. How are you gonna get your equal number of squares? No, you fill it up nice and or orderly. So let's go ahead and start that. And this will be my teacher example for the day since um, this is just an awesome tool. Okay, so it looks like there's gonna be, mm, let's see. This requires a lot of patience. Now, it might not look perfect, but the good thing here is that it's not overlapping. So let's see, I have one, two, three rows, and in each row there is four. So I can do three three, I'm sorry, there's three rows and there's four in each row. So it's four times three, which is 12. So if you're a multiplication person, you can do three times four, or you can add three, four times, or you can add four, three times. Either way, you should get the answer of 12. Row has four squares. How many rows are there? So the rows are the ones that go left to right. So rows, columns, rows, columns, rows, columns. 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 Rows,
columns, okay? So they're asking you how many, how many rows are there? One, two, three, there's three rows. So remember, guys, rows, columns. So how many columns are there? One, two, three, and four. Because in each column there is three. All right, so let's go ahead and do another example real quick. I have this lovely rectangle here. Unfortunately, I don't think I have squares, but let's see if I can make a square somehow. Um, is there a square or no? Um, Okay, so I'm just going to draw some lines. Hopefully they're equal. Let's see. Oh, where'd my line go? Format it. Let's make it black. Yay, you can see it now. Okay, so I'm going to move my line a little bit like this. Awesome. Yay. Now we can, now we can get right down to business. So usually you'd have your squares, but because I don't, I'm gonna, oh, why is this name mean to me? Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I got my lines ready and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them on my rectangle so I can have my squares. I love geometry, you guys. I mean, to me, I've always loved it since I was like a kid. And even now as a teacher, I just love it. And it's just so, so fun to play with shapes. I think it's really fun. And I also think it's super easy. I think maybe that's what I enjoy about it the most. It's easy and fun. And I mean, I mean, honestly, if you ask me, I think all math is fun, but that's just me. Okay, so now I'm gonna even it out. Okay, okay. All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, but uh, you guys understand the gist of it. So typically you would have some squares. If not, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, you guys should probably have examples in your um, workbooks. All righty. Make it black so you can see it. There we go. Okay. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, guys, that's a rough rough <laughs> example. But basically, let's just imagine that they're equal squares and not as equal as I would like for them to be, but it's good for the example. So first of all, I have how many rows? Remember, these are the rows. So let me get my pen out. I'm going to do this for rows, okay? So these are my rows. One, two, three. So I have three rows. Three, I'm going to put three R for rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six columns. I'm going to put six C for columns. And now I can draw my equation. Well, 
I can add three six times or I can add six three times. So I'm just gonna do six plus six plus six just because it's easier. Or for my mathematicians out there, you could just do six times three. Six plus six is 12 and 12 plus six, all you have to do is count on. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I should have 18 equal squares. Let's count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, eighteen equal squares. So there's different ways you could do that. Just six plus six plus six. You could have done added three six times, or you could do three times six. Either way, you'll still get the same answer of eighteen equal squares. And that's really it for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Class Dojo.